I'm doing a bit of a man cave update today. I've already got a telly in a man cave, 40 inch flat screen Samsung TV, but I came across this one the other day. You can see it down here. So that's 40 inch, and this one is 46 inch. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the 46 inch up there because that's my biggest free wall, and then I'm going to put the 40 inch somewhere else, probably over that side. And then what I've done, I've got a splitter off of uh, Amazon so I can have the two screens playing at the same time. That's what I'm hoping anyway. And see what happens. Uh, but I'm going to have to fashion some sort of bracket from here because I can't fasten it to the wall because that's a window. And the wall that I'm going to put that one on over there is, it's an outside wall and it's only a wood wall. So I don't think I can fasten it to that. So I'm going to have to make a bracket above and sort of hang it down. So that's what I'm on with today. So first job is tucking this one down. Might be that this clips off there. Oh, it does. Well that would be easier than I thought. Let's see how future proof it is. This is the aerial I've been using on it. It's like a booster aerial. Because I couldn't get a picture otherwise. So that's all the aerial. I couldn't get a picture without that originally. Do you know what that, that feels pretty sturdy, I wonder. If I take the bracket off the back of that one. And put that bracket on the back of this one. I should just be able to hang this one straight back up again. So this is the smaller teller. I had this silver bracket on there, but uh, there's not really any hooks on that. Not, and I ain't got the bracket that goes with that. But what I have got is an old bracket from uh, from the other garage that should fit, and that also comes with one of these. You know the pull out tilt brackets so I can actually put that on instead It 
Just let me show you outside. Just look at this. This is Endermere. It's almost summer. I've had to put my fire on. We've been away to caravan this weekend. It's been an absolute washout. Look at this. Wind of the mill just ripped door off. Look at that, absolutely chucking it down. End of May. The great British summer. No wonder we're all having to do jobs inside. Anyway, at least I'm getting my tellers up. Right, I've got that one back up. That one's working. I just need an HDMI cable long enough. And then I can have both the tellies on at the same time with the same program on. So I'm probably going to get one of them this week. I'll see, see where I can get them from. I'm, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to change some of them signs that I've got up there. I'm going to take some of them down. And then the tools I've moved from behind the telly on the tool wall, I'm going to put behind there. Right, I've got telly up, it's working, um, I've got all the channels there and uh, you know, tidied up my tool wall, especially that side, I think that looks a lot better now. Uh, I don't think I've spoke about this tool wall before, it's just, they're just old tools that I found at car boot sales or on house clearances or just, just old tools basically, not special about them. Right, so this side, when I'm putting this monitor, I've got it all wired up and switched on. Just pull back a bit. But I can't do anything with it. I've not got a remote for it and I, I don't really know how to, what to do with it. So I'm gonna have to get my mate to come and have a look at it for me. And I'm thinking is if I get an HDMI cable and use this splitter, I can just wire it straight into there. And as long as I can get that to go on the HDMI thing, it should be all right. But that, that keeps flashing up windows. So maybe that's, I don't know, that might even be a computer. If I'm talking stupid, tell me. I really don't know, honestly. My, my idea was just to get a splitter, then I could have possibly um, YouTube on both tellers at the same time, or boxing on both tellers at the same time, or whatever. So that, that was my idea. Uh, but I'm gonna have to get over this problem first, and I don't really know. Just keep saying start windows normally. Goes down to zero seconds. And then it, it's like it's trying to fire up windows. But I'm going to get somebody to have a look at that for me. But all in all, I'm quite pleased with that for a, a washout rainy bank holiday Monday. I don't think it's bad at all. And I've managed to get a, a bit more of my shed tidied up. the fire on there because because we're not having the best of days okay thanks for watching I'll see you again if you're not about that telly how to get it working let me know probably need a remote for it or something but I would open just to plug an HDMI in and then it just work automatically anyway I'll find out. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Bye.